What's the crack, lads? I'm Paul Harry Manyface, and welcome back to L8 Dangerous. Um, I'm clicked out of the game for some reason. There we go. Uh, today we're doing a little video on money making in the game, and this way to make money is kind of um, it's one of the more fun ways. But you do need uh, the Horizons DLC, so it's only for people with that. It's to do with planetary missions and. Basically, the system we go to is Cubio, which is where I am at the moment, if I can show the galaxy map. So yeah, there you go, Cubio. And, kind of, yeah, it's it's a control system of Ashton and Duval anyways, and we have to, we'll be going to Metcalf Keep. We've got like three other stations here, Roscam, Lubbock, Pino, and Finch Beacon. And um, we go between those three stations, picking up all the missions we can for the sake of this video I'm not picking up missions from all stations this is all just from Roscam and pick up all these missions basically cut the power data retrieval free data for all all these ones and we go in we basically cut the power and all the ones like that and the gate open the gates and stuff like that are all to do with destroying the generator so you destroy one generator they all get completed and then the performance reviews and sending the messages are to do with centuries the century ones three is good and nine is good if you're doing it multiple times basically the um the station's only gonna have four centuries every go so if you're doing it say three times then picking up one with nine it'd be fine but pretty much it's a good way to make about eight million an hour i did one run yesterday it took me about half an hour and i went up from 23 and a half million to pretty much 27 and a half so it's about 8 million an hour if you do it right and you do it fast enough but um basically we'd fly over and let's just show you the run through of how to do the mission fairly fast so we will aim for Metcalf keep there we go I'm also in a late game ship uh, for the Lance which is pretty much about 70 million worth of ship and upgrades but you can do it in you can do it in a lot smaller of a ship. Um, Asp is the main smaller ship that is um, good for doing it in because the Asp um, it has four small hard points and two mediums. So if you throw, you're going to need that's another thing actually. The modules you're going to need, you're going to need two medium dump fire missile racks or the four smalls, and then just turrets, whatever turrets you want to throw, or not turrets but just lasers. They don't have to be turrets mainly gimbal their turrets though onto the rest of your things so if you're in an asp you go four small missile racks and two say gimbal burst lasers and you're going to need to dump fire missiles to take out the goliath at the station as well as the generators for each of the turrets if you want to get into the station fast and get out you have something like seven minutes or so to get in and out of the station before everything regenerates landing take gear. landing gear up and up we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the Fertile Lance is a really good ship, but it's not it's not a multi purpose ship. The Asp and like the Python and stuff like that are all more multi purpose, whereas the Fertile Lance is a combat bounty hunting only type ship. So yes. Also another thing you're gonna want on the ship is a point defence, like right in front of your ship, like I think mine's like over here to the left somewhere. But right in front of your ship somewhere, you're going to want to point defense because the Goliath shoots seeker missiles at you and they're going to be hitting the front of your ship. So you need to point defense to try and take them out before they hit you. Especially if you're in an ASP, you're going to need the, the two, maybe two point defenses on the front. Because, yeah, to this ship they don't really do much, but to an ASP they will. You should get up to about 100 kilometers first if you want to skim around the planet fast. So I will do that first. And 100 kilometers up, start turning. Here we go. Okay. So basically, we just keep it at the zero the whole way around. At this little zero mark in the middle. There we go. You see, you fly around really fast. We're basically at Metcalf already. Okay. Start aiming towards it now. You're, now when you get in here you're going to stay about three and a half kilometers out from the station 
just to start doing everything because um, once you get two kilometers in the Goliath will spawn so then you'll have to deal with the turrets and the Goliath and when you get in that coast the turrets can start hitting you when you're about three and a half four kilometers out the turrets can't hit you not yet anyways so it's kind of handy okay we're coming in now in a second glide glide activated another thing you will need for the mission is an SRV bay you're definitely going to need one of those because um, you have to land to scan one thing when you're in here so you're going to need that SRV bay to do that okay 10 kilometers out so just boost once that should get me to where I have to be hopefully okay now it's kind of dark at the moment so it's going to be hard to see everything that I have to see slow down slow down slow down slow down slow down come on ship okay you'll see everything kind of short out anyways when you get it right when you hit the things you have to hit it's just deploy our hard points all my stuff to power or to weapons okay burst lasers missile racks pulse lasers are out okay so if I could fire right into the middle of these three over here uh oh that was bad that was very bad oh hit it still and there's all the cut the power missions done but there's another one over there to hit over there that should that should hit it hopefully yep got it um another one over there hopefully that'll hit it if not then I'll have to fire again hopefully though I really am no didn't get it okay come on up a bit there we go hopefully go on oh I don't know if I got that one if not I'll get it when I get closer to it get this one anyways fire right into the middle yep got it okay now we fly in closer this Goliath is gonna spawn anyways so that's gonna be a pain there is the Goliath oh there's his missiles already ah you little fat guy okay get my laser star fire I've got all turtle lasers so I don't really have to do much once I start. Oh fucking uh, Come on point defense. Get the fucking things. Ah that was that was just bad shots. Go Go That should be it dead. Yep, there we go. Okay. So now we got those out. We should get these. Go away. Um. Go on. Go away. See those turrets are still activated. I have to get that turret battery back there, which is right there. Go on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yes. That should be them gone. Uh, you go away. Uh, you go away. Fuck off. Okay. And you go away. And get this. Play down closer. Fucking sentries as well. So there's sentries we have to take out. Get rid of those. Fire about there. There we go. There's another fucking turret. Get rid of those. Uh, aye, aye. That should be pretty much all the stuff we need taken out, taken out. See, now there is extra sentries you can take out if you need them for the mission, which I kind of do. There we go. Should be some more over that direction. There's a turret and there's a sentry. Get the sentry first. Go on. Yes. Awesome. Now we just come over here. It's around here ish. Deploy our landing gear, anyways, and get rid of our thing. Landing gear deployed. Okay. There we go. Uh oh. 
move forward a bit. Uh oh. Up. Up. What? Why aren't you moving up? Okay, there we go. Okay. Fly in here. And land about here-ish. There we go. Very good. Deploy in our SRV. And there is one thing we have to fly over and scan. Should be nearby though. Should be fairly close actually. It's instead of driving around and up to it, there's a little thing you can do. Basically driving up to a side or something. We have to look up there. There it is there. That's the thing we need. Uh okay. Activate our turret. Target that and scan. And scanning done. All the missions should be update. There we go. Perfect up. Now get back to our ship. Uh, uh. There we go. Board ship. Our assumes. Very nice, very nice. Okay. And take back off. Go, go, go. Very nice. And straight up. Landing gear retracted. Landing gear retracted. Very nice. And that's pretty much all our missions done. They should all, like, if you go into them, it's like, excellent work, Commander, excellent work, Commander, excellent work, excellent work, excellent work, yeah, great, great work, Commander, surveillance software has already begun transmitting, they're basically all done, apart from, oh no, even that one's done, that one's not, though, because I didn't get, I got all four sentries, but I need another four, okay, so now we're going to have to get navigation, go back to Roscam. If I can go up actually, so we can do our frame shift and just fly over there really quick. Yes, I am aligned with the ship trajectory. God damn it. Very nice. But yeah, go about 100 kilometers up from the surface and you can just skim around the planet fairly fast to all the stations. You have to get all the missions from all the stations if you want to make a lot of money. But if you stay at the one station and just keep logging in from solo back to private group. Back to solo again. So most of the time missions respawn. Like on your first login, there'll probably be seven to eight missions per solo and private group, and then the next login there'll be about four per go, and then it'll start going down to about two per go. But it, but after fifteen minutes, it'll um regenerate anyways. So it'll back to be like eight or seven per login, and start working its way down again. So you can stay at the one station if you want, and just keep logging in and out. That's kind of what I do, just because I like having all my missions coming from the one station instead of having to drop around to turn them all back in. But, yeah, it's all kind of handy. All fairly handy to do. Uh, slow down. Contact Roscam. Request docking. Auto dock. And then we'll just log. Or log. Fucking just dock and turn in all our missions and see how much we make. We have, have twenty seven million three hundred thousand basically. So we see how much we get for this. Nyom. Also logging in and out you'll come across um charity missions for Empire factions. And if you do them then it gets your thing over here up fairly fast. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. You just look at it like this. But yeah, you get your reputation up with Empire fairly fast, like I only start I've only this is my second run. And I came in at 30% surf, and I'm already 50% master now, which is about a full rank and an extra 20%. So it's not bad so far. I'm almost the fourth rank. I'm trying to get up to seven to get clipper. So um, let us let us do this. Starport services. But yeah, the I haven't found this anywhere else. So at the moment, all I know is Cubio for doing it, but it could be in other places. And turn all these back in. So it was twenty seven thousand three hundred or twenty seven million three hundred thousand, I should say. Finish.
finish. And a lot of these missions are Empire anyway, so they'll get you up by themselves. Just doing them for the people, so it's kind of handy as well. Dead in. Dead in. Very nice. I think I had about 20 missions from this one station. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, so I was 27,300,000 and I'm now 30,400,000. So basically 3,100,000 just from 20 missions from the one thing. And you saw so far this the runtime of this video is 18 minutes. So in the 18 minutes I've got my missions and had to fly off, do the mission and come back. So in about 20 minutes I'm after making about the 3 million one hundred thousand or so so it is it's quite a good way to make money especially early stages because as i said you can do it in an asp and it's really easy to start building up money to work towards like your bigger ships like the fertilance and pythons and stuff like that and even like a type 7 explorer or a type 7 transporter and type 9s working up to something like that so you can just start getting a lot of money out of trading then it'll be fairly handy for you to get up but yeah i hope this did help some people in getting their fortune up and starting to get somewhere with it. And thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.